luck stop? When do we rise to the top? It's awful hard work pulling up the rear. She said, Now, honey, don't you want to be a big success? Buy me a diamond and a wedding dress. So I leaned in close and I whispered in her ear. I said, I like it down here with the hobos and the drums. Heart bitten rabble with the leaving trunks. Blood in my mud and sawdust in my beer. I like a wake up call at half past one. If I had a job, I'd get her done. I can catch real fine trash fish off the pier. I like it down here. Bit a lip and she let a skinny backbone slip. She lit a chest to feel church key to another beer. But she smiled and said, I must admit, always did like a man with grit. Then she slapped my face and she called out with a sneer. Said I like it down here, boss, just as much as you. Builds water, bust tub stew, got a three-legged dog and a one-eyed buccaneer. I like my homemade wine from a scupper on, smoking gun, drinking song, big steam trains with drunken engineers. Yes, I like it down here. Mansion and Museum would like to thank Bob Dillon and Spirit Investment Partners for their unyielding support and for their partnership on this unique and proprietary blend of Heaven's Door Whiskey. A toast to the mansion and the museum. Butterfly Spirits. Sip. Savor. Celebrate. Any occasion. Hello, everyone. My name is Susie Marklin, and I'm here to present Will Kimbrough in concert for the O Museum in the Mansion. Donations from this show will go to benefit the O Street Museum Foundation, a place that is very near and dear to my heart. The O Museum's visionary and creator, H.H. H. Leonard Spiro, along with Ted Spiro, president of the mansion on O Street, truly believe in the power of music. That music, art, sports, and science have no boundaries, no lines between race, religion, or nationality. 
The arts provide an outlet to get thoughts and ideas into the open. They inspire us to be better people. They are an expression of hope and love. And that, my friends, has a lasting effect in the world. Since 1980, O Museum has been providing guests the opportunity to explore themselves, engage with others, and experience how we can each be unique and similar at the same time. Whether it's finding synchrony in a beat, connecting with another story, or being moved by an image, these shared experiences create bonds of empathy for one another that can be brought out into the world to proliferate compassion, build bridges to resolve conflict, and bring people together. The O Museum's artists in residence and hero in residence programs welcome creators providing a safe haven for them to create, and then for them to take those creative works into the world to inspire others. They have helped many of the artists that we know and love. Their most renowned hero in residence was Rosa Parks. H was asked to take Rosa in after she had been severely beaten and had nowhere else to go. H and Rosa became good friends and Rosa stayed for 10 years. I suggest that you visit omuseum.org to learn more about the O Museum and their mission. I also hope that you consider a donation tonight. $20 is suggested. However, any amount would be greatly appreciated. Also, if you would like to join a Zoom meet and greet session with Will after the concert, I will be posting the link in the comments for you to sign up. You know, I first heard Will when a friend of mine, Aaron, invited me to one of his shows. She told me that he would blow me away. She told me very little else. When I got there, she was right. I was blown away. His songs and his stories, his playing, I had never heard anything like it before. And I didn't know at the time that Will's songs had been recorded by Jimmy Buffett, Little Feet, Todd Snyder, Jack Ingram, Gretchen Peter, and a bunch of others. A few years back, I went to my first Jimmy Buffett concert. It was great. The greatest moment, though, for me was when I heard Jimmy perform one of my favorite Will songs, Piece of Work. It was so awesome. Will is a prolific writer and a recording artist and legendary guitar player. His discography is comprised of six solo records. However, the list of songwriting and producing credits on other records are just too numerous to name. He is a member of Willie Sugarcats, Daddy, and Emmy Lou Harris's Red Dirt Boys. I feel like I could go on and on, but I think it's time to get on with the show. It is my extreme pleasure to present to you the phenomenal Will Kimbrough. Well, I'm delighted to be with you guys and um, the Mansion on O and the Mansion, the O Street Museum is a fantastic situation as you have just heard. And uh, the last time I was there, I ran into Chuck Lavelle, who's of course known as the piano player for the Rolling Stones. I know him from his work with the Allman Brothers and Sea Level as well, but he was there working on his, uh, working with his uh, work work with people who grow trees and he's trying to do it sustainably so always cool to run into a musical hero so I'm gonna start out with a song that's on my latest album it's called Spring Break and Spring Break was named after spring 2020 when the uh, the world broke and we all took a break so to speak and so well have, uh, <laughs> well, have a great show well thank, thank you, you Susie. very much for joining us and on behalf of Ted and H and all the O Mansion folks, we're so glad you're here. Thank you, Susie. Have a great show. Talk to you later. All right, here we go. This is called We All Fall Down. And this is a pretty simple, pretty simple notion about uh, united we stand, divided we fall. So. <laughs> Something in the air don't feel right Something don't feel like it should Maybe we should listen to wise advice And maybe it would do some good Someone in a room don't play fair Someone wants to make his own rules Maybe nobody can see this in Hands of fools Cause we rise And we fall together We fly 
Like birds of a feather we shine Through good or bad weather it all comes around And we will all fall down Some of us are feeling misunderstood Some of us have been left out if we paid attention, we probably would Never have so much doubt Somewhere there's a peaceful compromise Somewhere there's a middle ground Maybe we could make our own paradise See that love is all around All around Cause we rise and we fall together, we fly Like birds of a feather we shine Through good or bad weather it all comes around And we will all fall And we fall together, we fly like birds of a feather, we shine through good or bad weather, it all comes around, and we will all fall down, it all comes around, and we will all fall down. Something in the air don't feel right Something don't feel like it should Yeah. So there's All Fall Down, and that is on my new album that came out in late October of this year, of 2020, excuse me, and it's called Spring Break. And, um, you know, we've, we've all, you know, we've all had a roller coaster. Um, I've been lucky to go through a COVID positive diagnosis, which I took a test for, for work. I took a test to go play a, the Grand Ole Opry with Emmy Lou Harris, and my test came back positive, although I had no symptoms. So, lucky me, I went through quarantine without symptoms, really. Uh, of course, we lost the great John Prine. We lost so many people, not to mention the half a million Americans that we lost whose names we might not know. So here we are all together right now and getting vaccinated and getting ready to go back into our new normal. So this is a song right here called Trains. And I guess it's um, it's about getting being released from the constraints of your life. So... <laughs> on spring break too. Yeah. I feel the rumble down in my bones. I hear a whistle and it sounds like I'm home. Bells are ringing in the distance tonight I cut the engine and I wait for the light Trains passing me by Carrying no one on down the line Ain't it strange to stand by the tracks Watching for trains ain't coming back Twenty bucks doesn't go very far Driving around by myself in the car I save my nickels and I swallow my pride Someday I'm gonna go for a ride On that train passing me by 
carrying no one on down the line. Ain't it strange to stand by the tracks, watching for trains, they ain't coming back. The steady rhythm feels like a dream, the sound of steel when it's picking up steam. There ain't much in this world that I need And there ain't nothing in this town I ain't seen. I don't even care where I'm bound Someday I won't be waiting around For that train passing me by Carrying no one on down the line Ain't a train to stand by the track Watching for trains, they ain't coming back trains. <laughs> yeah, trains. So, uh, I sort of reinvented myself in 2020. I grew up on the Gulf Coast of Alabama and then started playing in rock and roll bands, kind of punk rock bands. And later I discovered the joys of early country music and country blues, rockabilly, and kind of combined it all together in what I do and discovered that songwriting is really my true passion play guitar for a living sometimes in studios and sing harmony for great, incredible artists like Amy Lou Harris and Rodney Foster, and Rodney Crowell, Mavis Staples sometimes, Todd Snyder, worked with Billy Joe Shaver, you know, all these great, Jimmy Buffett, Little Feet, all these amazing artists. But my passion is to make up songs from scratch and, and sing them and hopefully have some other people sing them from time to time. The Mansion on O, of course, is a, a representative place of this kind of thinking about creating something that wasn't there before and then nurturing that creativity. And this has led me to, like I said, work with all those people, but also work with combat veterans and first responders through songwriting with soldiers. And some of you may be more familiar with it through Mary Gaucher's masterpiece album, Rifles and Rosary Beads, which was nominated for a Grammy a couple of years ago. And I got to play on that album, and during the recording process, Mary asked me, why aren't you part of Songwriting with Soldiers? And I said, I am now. And it's been that way uh, for the last three or four years, and now I'm working with the Warrior Path Program, which is a non-clinical educational treatment program to teach combat veterans and first responders struggling with PTSD to learn post-traumatic growth practices to... Uh, stay off those meds and um, get back control of their lives and their families and their joy. So what I'm going to do a song for anybody who feels cooped up. This is called I Want Out. This is on my record spring break as well. talking about I want out I want out I want out of here It's just a dead end job in a dying town just off the interstate She punches out puts her apron down She's so tired from her working late Driving home down the service road 
flipping through the FM dial. It's the same old song she's heard a million times. She's lived here for a while. Well, she's lived here for a while. And you hear her singing, I want out. I want out. Oh, but people don't know what she's talking about. I want out. I want out. I want out of here. And then the morning comes like it always does. She's doing what she gotta do. Taking greasy food and taking coffee cups to the people just a passing through. She says, come on back, y'all, come on back. That's not what she means. And if you look into her eyes, well, you can almost hear her scream. You can almost hear a scream She's singing, I want out I want out People don't know what she's talking about I want out I want out I want out of here Well, can't you hear her singing? I want out I want out The people don't know what you're talking about Well, I want out I want out <laughs> yeah, I want out. I think everybody can relate to that at this point in the universe and here on planet Earth. So I'm going to switch from over to my mandolin and play a couple of songs. And um, I have to say, I, I play in a in a band that that may have fallen prey to the to the winds of 2019 2020 21 and um, it's possible that a band was broken up by politics I don't even know if we're still around but I will do this song to talk to you about it well trouble waiting around the corner Waiting around the corner for you every day Well, trouble, oh, waiting at the window Waiting at the window for your next mistake Yeah, for the moment, every minute of the day Yeah, for the moment, it's the only way Now, trouble Waiting around the corner for you every 
for being with me this beautiful afternoon here in Nashville. Yeah, somebody asked, what room is he in? <laughs> yeah, I'm in the storage room at my own house. This is actually where I keep all my 
vinyl and CDs and T-shirts and stuff. So I'm also by the internet router. So a lot of my wired in internet work in the last year winds up being up here. And so I'm going to do one that I wrote for my family, for, for my, my spouse, Jessica, and my daughters. This is one called Three Angels, and it pretty much is self-explanatory. But I will say this. Musically speaking, this song has the flatted fifth in it, and so, uh, which one of the venerable popes of yore called the Devil's Note. And I thought that was interesting. So when I wrote this music and I was trying to think of words and I wanted to write a song dedicated to my family, like just a love song to my family, my little family of two daughters and, 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 and my wife of all these years, that I thought if the devil's note is in my song, then maybe I should write the song and call my family angels. So I wrote three angels and I'd like to do this one for you right now. Mm -hmm. wake me up each morning tugging at my sleeve three angels see me off to bed each night i never did believe until i saw them for myself they don't have wings and halos they don't dress in white they don't have wings and halos and they don't dress in white tallest to the smallest to the one who's in between lord they're beautiful and they're funny in their way one's a woman one's a little girl and one's almost a teen and they get smarter than me each and every day they get smarter than me each and every day everyone has angels looking over them was a time when I just could not see. Now I know the truth is, I'm a lucky man indeed. Everybody has an angel. I've got three, three angels looking over me. Three angels make me smile. Three angels shine so bright to see. Three angels, hot and sassy, meek and mild. I go out into the world and they always see me back home safe and sound. Sometimes in the morning they're a moody band of angels. Still it's good to have my angels hanging around. You know it's good to have my angels hanging around. Everyone has angels looking over them. There was a time when I did not believe. Now I know the truth is, I'm a lucky man indeed. Everybody has an angel, I've got three. Three angels looking over me. Three angels make me smile. Three angels shine so bright to see. Three angels hot and sassy, we can bow. Three angels and they're looking over me. Three angels, oh, they make me smile. Three angels shine so doggone bright to see. Three angels hot and sassy, meek and mild and bold and brassy. My three angels make me glad to be alive. about a 
as simple as it gets, really, except for that devil's note. <laughs> All right, I'm going to do one, keep it in this tuning here, this drop G tuning, and do one that I wrote after spending about a week in Muscle Shoals, famous Muscle Shoals, Alabama. I come from Mobile, Alabama originally, but I was working in the studio called Fame, Fame Studio in Muscle Shoals, Alabama. And the piano player and organist on the session was Spooner Oldham. His real name is Dewey, but people know him as Spooner. And if you know rhythm and blues music, you know that Spooner really started his career on uh, Percy Sledge's When a Man Loves a Woman when he wandered into Fame Studios, which was then upstairs from a drugstore in downtown Florence, Alabama, with his trombone case from high school and asked uh, Rick Hall, you need any trombone today? And he goes, no, but I need somebody to play this organ. And so he sat down at the Vox Continental organ and played the iconic organ part on When a Man Loves a Woman, which only led to a few years later, you know, I Never Loved a Man the Way That I Love You and Respect, Aretha Franklin, Wilson Pickett, later, you know, Neil Young, Bob Dylan, pretty much everybody. So I'm, I was working with Spooner and realized that not only was one of my musical heroes like a genuinely sweet human being, he's a true gentleman, what, what people used to call a southern gentleman. I don't know if there are any more left, but um, Spooner is that, and a uh, true gentle spirit. And so I kind of fell in love with Spooner, and we've been friends ever since. But uh, I wrote this music as sort of a musical love song to Spooner, and I wrote the lyrics as a love song to my wife. But this is called Soulfully. And actually, Jimmy Buffett recorded this song. He heard it on an album of mine and put it on his album. So that's been a lucky break for me and my family. But this is a country soul song in the tradition of Muscle Shoals. So, soulfully. <laughs> me all you got and that's a lot I understand and I'm a lucky man to have you in my life you make me feel so free so well I know you can't be tough but just enough cause you're tender too and you know just what to do to give me what I need so Soulfully, smiles and laughter Words so kind Soulfully, here ever after Say that you'll be mine I send up a prayer way up there It's just a prayer of gratitude I got to give my thanks for you And all the love you bring Soulfully Soulfully, smiles and laughter Words so kind, soulfully Here ever after Say that you'll be mine Cause I'm at home when I'm wrapped up in your arms And all your loving charms You got the kisses, oh so sweet You give to me so fully So fully Smiles and laughter Words so kind Here ever after Say that you'll be mine and laughter and words so kind here ever after say that you'll be mine so 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 fully
Yeah. Cool. All right, I'm going to do a song that uh, sort of changed our our lives, and um, not that everything is just about commerce, but it is interesting what happens when something happens with a song. And um, the reason you write a song almost always, for me, has been to express something or make sense of the chaos of life, and or both. So I was at the Baptist Hospital here in Nashville, and we were in the neonatal intensive care unit, the NICU. For those of you who have had little premature babies, we had two premature babies over the course of six years. And our youngest was just a couple of ounces away from the legal weight of going home in the state of Tennessee, which is four and a half pounds. She was a little bitty baby. And we all got to come back and spend the night after leaving her there for a couple of weeks and visiting every day. It was a hard time. It's a hard time to leave your newborn baby at the hospital, of course. We all know. But one of the things we learned from being in the NICU was that there was always a baby smaller than yours. There was always a baby that was there longer than yours. And so you had to just be thankful and be grateful and be loving and be present, right? Which is a great lesson to learn about every moment of every day. And so that night I was too excited to sleep in that hospital room and there was no room for me in the bed with little bitty baby and five-year-old big sister and mama laying there in that hospital bed. So I set up shop in the little window seat which had a slick plastic cushion that I slid around on and sweated and fretted and my heart beat fast and I was excited. And so I went in the bathroom in that hospital room and I wrote down words on the hand towels, the paper hand towels. And I had no instruments trying to be quiet. It was a hospital, an intensive care unit, so I couldn't make noise. So I wrote words and sang it in my mind. And then when I went home, I found these pieces of paper and I got them out, wrote them out on a notebook. And, and uh, it's all about opposites. But what I was doing was, because I was excited and happy, but I didn't know quite what to expect to go home and have two small children in the house instead of just one. This is many years ago. But what I did was I made order out of the chaos of my excited thoughts and inability to sleep. And that has helped me in my life and also helped me learn how to be a listener, a professional listener in my role with songwriting with soldiers, where I'm listening to someone who's struggling with post-traumatic stress disorder and is trying to move into post-traumatic growth and they need to trust someone to tell their story to and know that you won't judge at all. So it's a great lesson to learn how to listen and I'm working on it. I'm still working on it. Tonight, obviously, I'm just doing all the talking. <laughs> but if you were here, I would listen to you. So if you join in on the after the um, the meet and greet afterwards, we, I will listen to you. And then if you have a question, I will answer it. But I'm going to do a song called Piece of Work, and this is really just a personal statement and a fun, creative play with opposites. And um, But this is the first song that uh, Jimmy Buffett recorded of mine. He heard it on my album called Home Away and got in touch with me, and I ended up, ever since then, we've worked on, recorded, written, or co-written about 16 songs on his last five albums, and I've played on all of them. So I've become kind of a member of that Coral Reefer family. I got to know uh, Ralph McDonald, the great percussionist who started his career, speaking of Rosa Parks, with Harry Belafonte, and they opened for Martin Luther King Jr. on the Civil Rights Movement trip to the Deep South in the mid-60s. And he told me all those stories, plus his stories about Bill Withers and George Benson. So what a great, to be the new guy, in sort of a rock star band like Jimmy Buffett and the Coral Reefers to have Ralph McDonald corner you and tell him I'll tell you all his civil rights stories and jazz stories and rhythm and blues stories and stories about Paul Simon and John Lennon Bill Withers uh, what an amazing experience to have so I stuck with my passion through thick and thin and it kinda came around and took me to new and exciting places and I have to say despite sort of celebrity people that I've gotten to work with from time to time. The biggest thrill is writing with combat veterans and first responders because their stories are so vibrant and human and important. 
and their struggle to fit back into civilian life after going into military combat or first responders work is um, something that I just admire to, to the bottom of my, my heart, you know, this, this struggle, the struggle to make the world better. It's good. And I'll tell you the second line beat from New Orleans and Cuba and Africa. And yes, Bo Diddley. It makes the world a better place every time. So does Sly Guitar. Because it's the notes between the notes that the slide picks up. I'm a piece of work, I'm iron and lace. Shy right up there in your face. I'm all dumbfounded, stubborn as an ass. Sharp as an arrow in a pile of glass. Sweetheart, genius, reckless, jerk. Lord have mercy, what a piece of work. White, made in the image of a line shock lamb. I am who the hell I am. Ever better, bad, worse, set down to the letter. I'm a piece of work. Well, I'm a dreadful sight and I just don't care. I spent all morning pulling out my hair. Woke at dawn with a crazy spin. I was half the day trying to get back in. And mother, bloody Mary, please wipe that smile right off your knees. I'm the CEO of the mailroom clerks. And good God Almighty, what a piece of work. Well, hey, I said, oh. The heels of a head down straight on through Watch out woman, I'm gonna get to you I'm a gladiator with the minor Come on, I'll see you a little later I'm a piece of work Piece of work Well, I'm a piece of work I'm a piece of work That's a lot of fun, everybody. All right, got a, two more songs for you. I just want to tell you that I appreciate you supporting the mansion on O and the museum on O Street. It's an amazing place, and it's not just a place, it's a place that represents ideas and represents a spirit and a worldview that promotes peace. And I like that. <laughs> So my most recent two records are I Like It Down Here, which is a combination love letter and Dear John letter to my home, the Deep South. Um, so it's a, it's a record that, and you heard in the intro to this show, you heard I Like It Down Here, the title track, which is a celebration of the <laughs> eccentric individuals in the Deep South that I've gotten to know down in Mobile, and Northwest Florida, New Orleans, on the Mississippi coast, um, down on the Gulf Coast of Texas. And, and in the, in the uh, you know, the coastal plain just north of there, you know, so South Mississippi, South Alabama, Lower Alabama, L.A., that's where I'm from, L.A., Lower Alabama. But um, there's another side to it as well, the historic uh, cruelty of racism um, and, and the continuing uh, voter suppression that keeps trying to be promoted by certain groups. And um, so I wanted to point out some of that on my record. Um, I'm going to keep the rest of this show more personal, 
but I want to tell you that in the most recent record after that, after I like it down here, it was Spring Break, and it's a solo acoustic record. It sounds just like I sound now, only like, you know, recorded in the studio at home here, and I played everything live. If I played harmonica, I played it while I sang and played guitar, so it's a, it's a real folk record, but of songs that I wrote and wrote with friends over the years. I've also got a Patreon going on, which is a platform where you can subscribe to my creative content and there's new music every month podcast every month and uh, videos about creativity songwriting and also one-on-one -on -one lessons and that's been a godsend for me during this pandemic time and i intend to keep it going as a member of the red dirt boys we've made a new album and we're we've got an indiegogo crowdfunding going for that so there's links that that susie has so nicely shared so I've got a lot going on, and I do songwriting with soldiers and work with the Warrior Path program, which I described earlier as a uh, where combat veterans and first responders dealing with post-traumatic stress can learn post-traumatic growth practices like transcendental meditation, breathing, yoga, mindfulness, creativity, and that's where the songwriter comes in to help people tell their story and make order out of the chaos of life. So it's great to have that job, and it's made me real busy. Still playing with Emmy Lou. We have a few dates coming up. I have some dates coming up where I'm actually going to get vaccinated, go play shows for people, not just on this computer here. So I'm going to do a song called When This Is All Over, and this is a song I wrote, yes, for this specific time. Every time you have a conversation with somebody, you hear somebody go, you know, when this is all over, I'm going to go see my Aunt Josephine. When this is all over, I'm going to go eat barbecue in Texas. When this is all over, I'm going to drive across the country. When this is all over, I'm going to play a live show, for Christ's sake. So here we go. When this is all over, I'm going to hug your neck so hard. I just might not ever let you go. I'm going to have a celebration. In my own backyard, I'm inviting everyone I know. When this is all over, I will be a different man. I've never seen the world the same again. I want to keep my eyes wide open, try to understand, and show a lot more love to all my friends. We're learning how to live. Feeling some regret. It's high time to forgive, but never to forget. This is all over. I'm gonna take a big long drive. I'm gonna get behind the wheel the way I go. With the windows down and the music loud, it's good to be alive. I'm inviting everyone I know. I'm inviting everyone I know. I'm inviting everyone I know. When this is all over Yeah I'm gonna hug your neck so hard Alright, I'm gonna do one more song This is the last one This is a traditional closing song for me It's called Goodnight Moon And I wrote this with my friend Gwil Owen Who is not only a rare book dealer online And a, one of, a great songwriter But one of the world's great curmudgeons so I'm proud to know Gwil Owen and write songs with him. He wrote a lot of songs for the great Tony Price in Boston, Texas. So here we go. This is called Goodnight Moon, and uh, it's dedicated to everyone, everyone who's lost someone, everyone who misses someone. You know, you got to smile when you can, cry when you need, and uh, stay in touch with folks that love you so they know that you love them. Wishing you peace and love. Hope you come over to the meet and greet and we'll say hi and thanks for giving me a shot here today to play some music for you happy spring
Good night, moon. Good night, stars. Good night, old breakdown cars. Gone away, leaving soon. Good night, darling. Good night, moon. See, I don't know where I'll be. I don't know if I'll see out the window of my room shining down. Good night, moon. Thank you, babe. I'm gonna miss you when the night comes round. That's when I long to kiss you with the moon shining on on the ground. Thank you, babe. I'm gonna miss you when the night comes round. That's when I long to kiss you with the moon shining on the ground. Say good night, moon. Oh, good night, stars. And good night, oh. Or broke down cars I'm gone away leaving soon good night darling good night darling good night darling good night moon Awesome. Thank um, you, Susie. I want to thank you again for joining. I want to thank everybody else who tuned in. I want to remind people of the meet and greet afterwards. And um, again, well, that was such a great show. Thanks again. Um, so thank I, you. What, what I'm going to do now is um, we're going to end this broadcast with a song from a, a, a friend of ours from the mansion um, or a supporter of the mansion. His name is Willie Cat, a local songwriter. And I'll see you on the Zoom show. Wait a minute.
Oh.